Hello, I'm Rico and this is 123Tube and today is just going to be a quick video. I will do more videos in the future once my office is built and I'm moved in there but it's currently uh, in the planning process and, and it's going to be built. Uh, but for now it's just going to be a short video and today um, it's going to be about the Amazon Fire Stick. Um, I've recently started using it as uh, my smart Blu-ray player became faulty and I got rid of that. I thought, well, I've got this Amazon Fire Stick uh, lying around. Why not just uh, plug it in and use that instead? And uh, what I noticed was that a lot of the videos were juddering or stuttering. Um, and I couldn't figure out why. And um, then I got thinking and it became immediately apparent that uh, most of the videos that we view nowadays are 24 frames per second. It's the same... Uh, frame rate that movies uh, use and the Amazon Fire Stick in its menu only had uh, 1080p 60Hz and 1080p 50Hz available. Um, let me show you. Let's get out of the frame so you can have a look. So if we go down to settings and let me help if I push the right button. If we go in here into the display resolution mode, you can see we've only got 1080p 60Hz and 1080p 50Hz. There's no 24Hz, that's 24 frames per second, or it's 23.97 to be precise. Now this causes an issue because it doesn't match the frame rate, so every uh, few seconds it has to basically kind of catch up with itself and it causes a judder. I found a way of getting around this and how we get around this is if we just go to the front end of Amazon and what we do is get back into the frame so on the remote the up button and the rewind button if we press and hold it and keep it pressed what happens is we get a hidden menu so it says, if you want 1080p 50 hertz, press the button, use this current resolution, but we don't want that. But unusually, 1080p 24 hertz comes up, even though it's not in the menu. So if I hit the OK button, we basically now have 1080p 24 hertz input. And that solves the juddering problem. So it's quite a simple solution. Why it's not in the menu, I really don't know. But there we go. That might help someone somewhere out there. Okay, quick video as I said. Thanks for watching.